I'm going to show you the last thing you need to do in order to um, make your uh, or animate your book page, um, page of the book. So uh, I have my finished animation here. So you can see there it is, there it's going. What I need to do is I need to save it now um, so that I can import it into iMovie and add a voiceover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say file and export movie. I need to save it as a QuickTime file. By default it has Flash Movie. You want QuickTime. And we're going to save this uh, somewhere that's convenient like your H drive or the desktop on the computer. So I'm going to just call mine drs.mov and say save. Here it's going to ask me um, its resolution. Just go with whatever it has set and say export. And then it takes the uh, your whole animation and turns it into a movie file. Once this is done, we're going to import it into iMovie. So it's compressing now, and this message means that it's done. So I say OK. Then I go into iMovie. From iMovie, I need to import that file that I just created. So I say File. Oh, it's thinking about loading, so we'll just wait a second here. I say, OK, here we go. Cancel. Uh, file. Import Movies. I go to my desktop or my H drive, wherever I saved it, I find it, and I'm going to, um, you can either add it to an existing event, the events are down here. Um, I already have one called tech, which is where I'll import it. If you don't have an event though, you'll need to create one, so you might want to call it um, animation or something like that, and click import. So then it imports it. And in a second, you'll see under the current year, it makes a new event called animation. So now, up here in the project library, I need to make a new project. So I push the plus button. And I'm just going to call it animation. And I pick up my video. And I drop it here. Uh, if it asks you this question, you can say change. And one other thing I need to change about this is you'll notice that um, it doesn't all quite fit in the screen. So what I need to do is just click here on my video, click this little gear and say cropping and rotation, and I'm going to say fit. And that way the whole thing will fit in, in the screen. And I say done. I'm also going to move this thing here so that I can see more frames of my video. So if I go ahead and hit the spacebar, you can see there's my video. But we need to add sound. So I go ahead and hit the microphone. I click at the start. Oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Zeus. And you can see it's added my voice down here. Um, I can go ahead and play it back. Oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Zeus. Now let's say you've got a page to read with more words than you can read in the amount of time your animation plays for. Well, you could just take your animation and make it play twice by dropping it in a second time. And then uh, when you record your voice, just um, you'll have it play twice. Try, please try and make sure that your video is no longer than 20 seconds though, because we do have to put them all together into one animation in the end. Also, when you record your voice, this, um, more than any other time, is the most important time to make sure that there's no background noise. So you don't want to do this in the stairwell where it's echoey. You don't want to do it with someone speaking beside you, so please be really mindful of other people who are recording while you're doing it. And that's it. Once it's done, you're going to put this into your design folder and hand the whole thing into me. And uh, and you're going to also, oh, sorry, let me show you how to export this. So I need to say share, export movie. You're going to choose the largest possible size it lets you export as. And uh, you could put it on your desktop, your H drive, and say export. 
Once it's done, you can import it into your design folder, and you'll also need to give me the movie file so I can stick them all together and make one final cartoon of the whole book. And that's it. So you'll see as soon as this is done here, I'll have a file on my desktop called Animation. So here it is. Oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Zeus. And see how it loops. Okay. Uh, when it looped, you know what I forgot to do? Was crop it and tell it to fit. Anyway, you've seen me make the mistake, so you don't need to. See you later.